In today's health this morning, the size of your food kit plate can determine the size of your belly. We have Karen Donaldson here with us this morning to talk about food plates, dinner, and all you these things. You just made me want to suck it all I in. <laughs> we know that feeling. Yeah, little tiny plate here. Suck it all in. All right, so uh, we have a plate here. We yes. have a bunch of these rubber foods that, uh, we do. that look we delicious. We have this paper right here. The USDA came up with a new food plate mm -hmm. instead of the food guide pyramid. Did you find the old one confusing? Oh, yeah, definitely confusing. Definitely. All uh, the little lines. Yeah. And I don't even pay attention to it. Well, actually good, because I didn't think it was that great either. So they came up the with this food plate. The experts say it's not that great. I like that, Karen. Thank you. Well, I, I know. I'll probably go into dietitian someplace. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so the new one um, really tries to simplify it by saying we need to have some fruits okay. on our plate. We need some vegetables. We need some proteins. We need grains. And we need some dairy. Okay. So that's good. Now, would this be every meal, dinner meal? What, what, what should be the main In general, okay. in general, although most people don't prefer to have vegetables with their breakfast. Mm -hmm. But you could. There's not okay. any law that says you can't have vegetables with okay. breakfast, just so you know. I, well, okay. I guess yes. I've not been obeying that law. Interesting. Uh, I have to brag because this is our food plate from our office that we've had around okay. for years. This one cost two million to develop. This one didn't cost nearly that much to develop. So, um, but again, focusing on having a lot of vegetables, protein, um, I put a little bit more emphasis on fiber, okay. on fruit and fiber, because I think that's important. But either way, either one of these food plates actually simplifies things for people, because they're probably not going to go to the internet and look up things and the saturated and the trans fat and this and that. We've got to keep it simple. Yeah, so, so what are we doing with these What we're looking today? at here is um, a portion of the plate should come from protein. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty good, telling people to do that. And then a portion should also come from fruit. That is a, quite a lot of fruit right That there, is, right? but we're <laughs> not done yet because the other part of the plate really gets to come from vegetables. Okay. So what they're saying and what we said on our food plate as well was that half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Wow, okay. And that's a lot different than what we're used to thinking about. Well, this is really how it was supposed to be, okay. but it was never spelled out like that. I, I remember the plate used to be a lot of meat or a lot of those starchy things. Yes. Oh, yes, years a ago. A little bit, a little bit of maybe a vegetable or two. This now is the starchy the bread perf thing. Okay. Hoping that it's a whole grain mm -hmm. as well. But you're right. In the past, really, a plate would look like this. It would have oh, some yeah. starch. Some Where's more starch, bread? Yeah, maybe yeah. some bread. Oh, yeah. Say if this was pasta, and then there would be like a token meatball on top. <laughs> that's you know? exactly so, right. And throw you a stalk of celery to call it good. Yeah. You know? So yes, things have have changed for okay. the better. Uh, but I think what really the government needed to do was make the message be a little bit more simple. Mm -hmm. And I think I think it's a good start with the plate. There are pros and cons to it as well. But if you think half fruits and vegetables and then some protein. I would put fiber here, okay. but they put a whole grain. Um, this does make it a little bit more simple. Okay. The tricky part then is actually doing this, right? Just that do it. That is the it. tricky part, and making sure that you have enough options to, to make your plate as colorful right. as Isn't that care. pretty? It's that so much prettier than the other one. A very colorful yeah. plate. Call well, me Karen, up and I'll help you. I was going to say, if people want more information, just give you a call, 233-0593. Exactly. I, I know these things, Very Karen. good. We can take their insurance, too. Well, I really appreciate it. Karen, thank, thank you, you for waking up with us this morning and sharing your rubber, delicious foods with us. Don't eat these, though. Do not eat these. No, a lot of fiber, but it's not good for you. Not good. All right, <laughs> hey. Brandy, we'll send it back to you. Thanks a lot, Stuart. Right now, let's take a live look outside. Take a look at this beautiful shot. This isn't a picture. This is live of Idaho Falls Greenbelt right now with some sunshine.